guys, Mr. Backer here. In this video, we're going to look at arc lengths of circles. As we're looking at arcs, remember an arc is just a small portion of a circle. So if this is our full circle and we've got this angle within our circle that separates out this piece of the circle from the rest of the circle, then this piece in here is the arc that we're going to be looking at. So let's give these points a couple names so that we can talk about these things. That'll be point A, and down here we'll have point B. Okay, now if we want to find the length of the arc AB, then we need to know some information about what that measure of the arc is. So we're going to take the measure of the arc in degrees divided by 360, because 360 is a full circle, but then we have to multiply that decimal that we end up getting by the circumference of the circle. In this example, we're looking at a circle that has a radius of 8 inches. We're also given a central angle of 108 degrees, and what we want to try to do is we want to try to find the arc length from A to B. So the first thing we need to know is we need to know the measure of the arc in terms of degrees. Since we're dealing with a 108 degree central angle, remember the measure of a central angle is the exact same as the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So since we've got a 108 degree central angle, this arc is also 108 degrees. So we go with our 108 degree angle over 360, but then on the end we need to know what the circumference of our circle is. And remember, in order to find the circumference, one thing we can do is 2 times the radius times pi. So what I'm going to fill in on the back end here is 2 times the 8, because that's the radius of our circle, times pi. Now if we start simplifying some things down, if we take 108 divided by 360, that decimal is 0.3, and then we're going to take that decimal times our 2, times the 8, and times the pi that's on the end. So when we type all of that into our calculator, we should get about 15.08 inches. And we do need to label this because it is an actual length that we're measuring. It's the distance along the outside of the circle from point A to point B, the length of that arc. So we need to put our inches label on there. In this example, our circle has an 11 centimeter radius and a 60 degree central angle, and we're going to find the measure of the arc that runs from point A to point B. So the first thing we need is we need to know the degree measure of the arc. 60 degree central angle tells us that we're dealing with a 60 degree arc. So we take our 60 and put it over 360, but then we have to multiply by the circumference, which is 2 times the radius times pi. So we have 2 times 11 times pi. Now it is possible for us to just type all of this stuff into our calculator at once. 60 divided by 360 times 2 times 11 times pi. We should end up getting 11.52 centimeters as our final answer for this one. Again, we need to label our answer since we're dealing with a measurement. So make sure you put that centimeters label on the end. Now there is another way to deal with this formula as far as finding arc length or even using it to help us find other measures within a circle. So we've got our arc length formula equals the measure of the arc divided by 360 times the circumference. I actually want to take that circumference and move it over to the other side. Since it says times the circumference, in order to move that we'll have to divide by the circumference. So then we can rewrite our formula as a proportion or an equation that has a couple of fractions in it. So if we take the arc length of our AB arc divided by the circumference of our entire circle, that ratio or that fraction has to match up with the ratio of the measure of the arc in terms of degrees divided by our full 360 degree circle. Now we're going to use this new formula and this picture and what we're going to do is we're going to find the circumference of this whole circle. So what we've got is we know that we've got a 40 degree central angle and this 6 foot length on the outside, that's the arc length of AB. So we're going to look at our new formula where we've got the arc length over the circumference equals the measure of the arc over 360. We know three of those pieces of information. We know that our arc length is 6 over, we're going to try to figure out what the circumference of our full circle is, so I'm going to leave the C on the bottom of this fraction, equals the measure of the arc AB is the same as that 40 degree central angle over a full 360 degree circle. 
Now, since we've got fractions on each side of our equation, I'm going to do some cross multiplying. So I'm going to take the 6 times the 360. When we do that, we get 2,160. And then if we take the 40 times C, we get 40C. Our last step is going to be to get C all by itself. So we have to divide both sides by that 40. And when we do that, we end up with a circumference of 54. Now we should throw a label on this as well because we're measuring a distance. Our arc length was given to us in feet, so this entire circumference is in feet. So our circle has a 54 foot circumference. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.